guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're reviewing the Bondi Sands Light Medium Tanning Foam. This is going to be light medium because you can see how pale I am and I am not going ultra ultra dark. I am not up for that. So this tan I bought for £7.50 because it was on half price at Boots. I find that happens a lot at the moment. To me, like around the summer is when a lot of the self tans go on offer for like buy one get one half price or buy one get one free or just half price or a deduction. You do get quite a lot of product in this, you get 200 mils and this is the foam so it does have the colour guard with it and that to me was quite important to have a colour guard so that you can see in terms of application and it's not the same colour that it's going to wash off to be, that's just something to be aware of with self tans. The colour guard should not be like the same colour unless you leave it on for a long, like, long time. But I'm going to go through the claims on the website and then you'll be able to see me applying it and what I think of it at the end and see how it wears. This to me is like a super long foundation review, but like a foundation for your entire body that's supposed to last at least a week. Um, so the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Foam glides effortlessly over your skin and dries in seconds to a natural flawless tan. Enriched with aloe vera and vitamin E for soft, smooth, healthy looking skin, Bondi Sands is Australia's favourite tan. Okay, so basically it's got aloe vera and vitamin E so that you are moisturising your skin and so that it like kind of sinks in and lasts for longer. It's also got a coconut scent um, and the idea is that it's supposed to not smell like a disgusting fake tan like a lot of them do. But I just wanted to try out a self tan for the summer because you know what, when I go on holiday, I want to be able to put one on and not have to take it with me and at least it lasts for the first half of the week. I don't need it to last all week, just for the first half of the week. So what we'll do is we will put the tan on and we will see how long it lasts the colour it gives. I am super pale. I am like the blankest canvas you are going to find. So we'll see how it lasts and we'll see how many applications and things that we need to get it up to a really nice colour. So if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. I and mean, if you press that notification bell you'll be notified every time I upload. And please let me know like if you've tried this tan below what you think and whether you recommend that I try any other tans, things like that. I'm always up for some new recommendations. I haven't tanned in a while and I'm hoping that it doesn't smell, you know, like the awful, like, fake tan smell. But I went for light medium because I'm a bit too, like, scared to go for the dark tan. I'm not using, like, the Bondi Sands tanning mitt because I have a skinny tan tanning mitt from when I used to actually tan a little bit. I think that was... But I'm just going to kind of show you one arm, like, done on camera because I can't show you, like, the full tanning process going on on camera. And then I'll come back once I've done, like, the full tan. I'll kind of talk about what I think of the colour guard. And we'll see how it goes. So it says, for an even streak free tan, ensure your skin is clean, exfoliated and free of any moisturisers. Now from what I've seen, it's best to kind of moisturise like your knuckles and things like that, your knees. So I have done that, um, just because I don't want this tan to stick funny to any areas. I'm going to put about like one and a half pumps on. That looks dark, doesn't it? So I'm just going to apply it to the arm. So it says to kind of go in like circular motions. So I'm doing my best. It's looking a little bit bitty on the skin. Like, I don't know if you can see here. Just a little bit bitty. So I have tried to like rub that in as best I can. Going in a little bit around the wrist, but not going towards the hand yet. I'm not going to do the hand until like the end. It does have a pretty nice smell actually. Like it, it does smell a little bit coconutty, but it doesn't smell like too strong either. It doesn't smell like I envisioned like a fake tan smelling because it can smell really nasty. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go over it with more tan. I'm gonna do all of that off camera and then what I'll do is we'll come back once I've done like the full tanning process. I'll have a like let you know what I think overall as I continue to apply it. So I did the full body tan with a bit of help. You can kind of see on my neck, on my arms and stuff that actually the colour is okay. It's not too dark. It's a little bit kind of clingy to my strap areas here that you can see and where I normally have like my bra or a top, but otherwise it doesn't look patchy to me at all. It looks a little bit on my fingers, like you can kind of see all my white bits like here. It did say to leave it on for six hours. You can also top it up after half an hour of the first application. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shower this off and we're going to see how the colour fades because obviously this is the colour guard. Um, it does look a little bit patchy on my neck as you can see but otherwise it looks pretty good and I am happy with it so we're going to see how it rinses off. 
So I had my shower, I washed all of this off and you can see that there is definitely a colour difference between my neck and my face. I kind of look like I've been away on a holiday. I have little bits of areas that are like darker around here. Um, it's not so like pronounced as it was before on my knuckles. Like do you remember how patchy it was on like my hands? It's not like that too much. Like it's not super noticeable anymore. I think it's because I can see it and I'm looking for it. Um, but like the colour difference isn't too off either. I think it looks really nice. Um, I prefer it probably a little bit darker so I think that's what I would do next time. It looks really good so far. I just think I would do that like 30 minute application thing again. I haven't had like any problems. I think my legs just look really white to me. Like the same as before so in my head I'm there like well should I test it maybe on like just doing one leg but that would look a little bit ridiculous. Considering the hot weather I'm going out in skirts. Last thing I want is to have a really tan leg and a really pale leg. How weird would that look? But anyway, we're going to be testing the tan out for the rest of the week. I might top up tomorrow, I haven't quite decided. Because it'd be nice also to see how this tan layers. Um, and then how it fades, if it fades patchy. So we'll see throughout the week, see how it fades. And then see how easily it comes off towards the end. So I thought I'd come on camera and show you the tan a couple of days later. It's faded a little bit. And it's fading pretty evenly. I mean, it was still darker here than it was before. But then the tan came out that way. Um, it's just the same with like under my arms, the tan that came out darker under there. So it is still a little bit darker but it does look pretty natural and it looks a bit better out in the sun. However, like I said before, I was interested in having a bit more colour so on day two. So I put the tan on, not yesterday but the day before. I'm going to put some more tan on. I'm just going to put another layer of the tan on. We're going to see how it looks. Um, I'm excited for it to kind of turn out like a bit more of like the colour I wanted. So we're going to see how it turns out. I'll pop on camera once I've got like both layers on so you can see like the colour guard with like two layers of tan on. So I've had the tan on for six hours. Definitely looks darker like oh my god you can see it on my hands like how dark that looks. Got some proper orange fingers going on but then in my job I wash my hands more often so it's going to come off my hands more often. It doesn't look patchy or anything like that. I'm hoping that the colour is still as nice when I take it off with a second application. Because the last thing you want is it to not build well or build at all. So when it washes off, I hope that it's like a decent colour rather than just being exactly the same colour. So that to me kind of proves whether that building actually works. So we'll see once I've washed it off. So I did wash the tan off a few hours ago. Um, it's a little bit dark now because we went out and did a food shop. But I feel like the tan looks less patchy kind of with that second layer you can see where it got up to before um, it looks darker here but honestly in real life it looks really even really nice it does look a bit dark on my knuckles so i'll let you guys know what i think as i wear this tan throughout the week and if you've tried any other tans let me know um, if there's any other tans you want me to try let me know sam hates it because he has to have that commitment of like doing my back for me um but yeah no i'm excited to see what you guys think and if you've tried this tan before Hi guys, so we were at day two of the top up. So the tan to me is definitely starting to fade. It's been like four days since I put the initial tan on. I did have a bath last night and it doesn't look like at least you're floating in like murky water. I think that's what I envision like floating in brown water. Um, but it's coming off nice and evenly. Don't pay attention from about like here up. That's makeup. But it's coming off like rather evenly. My hands look pretty good like but like you can kind of see the colour is fading nicely. Um, it looks like I'm as pale as before but honestly I think it's the light outside. I do look like I have a little bit more of a tan. It's still like more clingy to like pat these areas so it's a little patchy in some areas but it can't be expected to be perfect. I'm really enjoying it so far and personally I would use it again. I haven't found it transfers to absolutely anything and I've got white bedding so I think unless you slept like in the colour guard, I don't think you necessarily have a problem with it. I've had a really kind of good run of luck with it so far. Um, I think I'll give it like another couple of days, maybe till Friday, and then I'll try doing like a full body exfoliate to remove the tan. And we'll see if it removes patchy, like what goes on with the removal process. Hi guys, it's Friday. It's been about six days since I did the initial tan application, four days since the top up. My neck's a little bit of a mess due to like makeup and tan, um, but it's faded really well everywhere else. I've had like no problems anywhere else. Um, I'm looking basically fully white again, so I'm just gonna give like my body like a full scrub, make sure the tan removes evenly from where it still is. Um, it has looked really good over the past few days and I've really enjoyed wearing it so far. 
I'm gonna give you like a full like summarized like thoughts once I've scrubbed it off because I don't want it to look patchy when I've scrubbed it off and to make sure that it does come off easily because that is quite important to me that I'm not gonna have to buy extra self tan remover. So I'll get back to you in a moment and just kind of let you know like all of my thoughts. So I took this self tan off a couple of days ago with a full body exfoliate and it didn't take it off completely. I did have to go for one or two showers more before it came off completely. So it didn't go patchy with a full body exfoliate, which is what I anticipated, which is what I've had with tanners before, such as skinny tan. I found that if I exfoliated when I had the tan on, it just went patchy. So it doesn't do that, which I do really appreciate. It does fade fairly evenly. My overall thoughts on it are, you're gonna need like a self tanning remover just to get it off in one like sweep if you need it like off, off after having it on for a few days. Um, otherwise you're gonna need like lots of showers just to have it come off and it does come off evenly. So if that's the way you want to go without having to purchase a self tan remover, you just want it to fade naturally, this one does and I do really like that about it. And the only problem I actually had when I tried this self tanner was that bras. So as a woman, you know that you've got your bra constantly pressing against like your under boobs to keep them up. And around like the bottom line under there is where I had tan come off, transfer to the bra. So it did transfer to my white bra, but it hasn't stained any of my clothes, which I do really appreciate. I just think that having something so close to an area where you sweat a bit more, um, I think it definitely did transfer. So that's just something to be aware of in terms of what you're gonna be wearing. So say you're gonna be wearing a swimsuit with like a dip and you don't want that to show up, that is just something to be mindful of. Um, but otherwise, I really like this tan. I would recommend two coats rather than just the one to get a fair amount of colour. I really like this tan. I definitely think like it was worth what I paid for it. I have absolutely loads left. But no, I did really enjoy this tan. I'm really like proud that I tried it out. Um, but if you guys wanted me to review any more tans, any other products, things like that, then please let me know down below, especially like let me know what your favourite tans are. Um, so if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave. And if you press that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload. Thank you for watching.